It's Old Bar Radio's Mr. X to the Z exhibit. And Soren Baker. It's Friday night, 93.5 yeah. K Day. What's good? Yeah, man, it's open bar radio time, man. Yeah, man, yo, yeah. it is, it is Friday night. I'm very, uh, I'm lit up already, as the kids would say. It's lit. Well, I didn't want to snitch this time. So, well, oh, uh, this, this time, time. Right. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, sorry, man. It's okay for you to snitch. It's in your nature. No, it's going down on open really. bar radio. Not <laughs> really. Five K Day. <laughs> we got the DOC in the building. He's here. Yo, man. Bring him in. All right, let's bring him in. DLC, what's good? Hey, what's up? What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you, how are you, brother? I'm good, man. All is well. Yo, this man has lit up the internet. Yes. Uh, there is there is talk about his vocal cords healing and becoming more responsive to what he's trying to do with with, with his voice, and, and it is it is inspiring. It is something that is very uh, groundbreaking and something that's very ground shaking for people that love this man as much as I do. How are you, DOC? I'm good. I'm good, X. Yeah. I'm, I'm great. I'm actually I'm great, bro. Everything is everything is positive, and I'm just trying to do the right thing. With yeah, you. yeah. Well, you know, you got a show coming up. You know what I'm saying? People are looking forward to you getting down on this uh, on this KD, K-Day event. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm going to have some fun. When is the last time you hit the stage? It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a long time. Man. Wow. I haven't been on stage maybe in about 20, 20 years. Maybe. Wow. 20 years. Wow. One of the greatest rappers hasn't performed in 20 years, man. man. Bro, when I lost my gift, that, that I couldn't, you know. Like they, they, like what I'm gonna do. Mm. And how the West was one, they wanted me to do that then. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Right? And I, I had to get so inebriated right. that I that I passed out on stage right. twice. Mm. You know? right. So, no, nah, man, this is a new kind of thing for me, but I'm stepping right. out on faith. Right. You know, and I'm believing it's a positive thing. I know this voice thing is, is, is flipping a lot of people out. Right. But it's really alert. That's really a alerting me to the fact that it can't be happening for nothing. Right. So I can't just sit on it. I just nah. got to go with it. Yes. For those who do not know, what does the DOC stand for? Uh, man, it's, it's, it's a myriad of different, you know, all depending on where you, where you, <laughs> yeah. what your mood well, when, is. When they match. met you and how they met you. you know <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what's going on that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Like when, when I... At, the, the truth is, when I came up with the DOC, mm. I was just trying to find a way to attach myself to those guys. Oh, mm. oh wow. Yeah. Like, uh, what was the original rap name? Doc. 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 Yeah. But that was the Feel the Fresh Doc Crew T. era, yeah. right? Yeah. So, it, since you already had that, though, how did you need to, to fit in? Yeah. I was, uh, I'm a little. Uh, well, like back in those days, mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was a little hard fitting into the to the whole scheme of everything that was going on. So, Cause you were from Dallas originally. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. So when I came, I was Dre's guy, mm. but all these other guys, I was trying to fit in with those guys. But my my personality is big. Yeah. So, yeah. As is your pen. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. Yes. What the I fuck? I said pen. Jesus Christ, son. I said pen. His lyrics, man. Man, don't. The dude's a G. <laughs> he just got here. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Doc, Doc, man, DLC, man. Jesus. Okay, carry on, brother. <laughs> no, no, but. Pause, as, X. As I'm they, talking about lyrics, man. <laughs> as they, uh, as the stuff, they stuff started to build, I started to feel some separation, so. I wanted to connect myself to that work because yeah. to me, it was me too. You mm. know what I mean? yeah, hell yeah. Not only uh, were you featured on the records, but you wrote a lot of these records. Yeah. And, 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 you know, going into, you know, seeing this portrayed in a major motion picture with the, the, the release and the success of Straight Outta Compton. Wow. How did that feel? Wow. Seeing someone portraying you as an, uh, uh, this is your life and somebody's portraying you on the screen. Like they were, they were casted. Like, okay, you got to come in the, to try out for DOC. No, no, no. <laughs> it was good. It was cool as shit, man. The yeah. guy and uh, Marlon did a great job. I'm really impressed with yeah. the guy. And uh, man, I I support the whole artistic endeavor, and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't go to the thing 
Yeah. I went with my girl to the movie. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And seeing it and enjoying it. I'm life. excited about your show coming up, man. How do you feel, man? It's like people are coming to witness something that they haven't seen in so long, man. And, and, and it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be emotional for you, bro. Yes, it's it's tough. Yeah. You know, it's tough. It, well, it shouldn't be tough because people understand. Yeah, and I think I think that if if anything I could tell you is that people understand and people no, no, want, I get it. people want to see you more than, it. than than it is a problem. You know Bro, what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. If like the one thing that I do know is motherfuckers want to see me win. They, yes, they absolutely. Want that, yes, they, they want that shit That's so it. bad. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly and, it. And I'm doing my best, prop. Yeah, I, I, my right hand to the sky. I'm fighting hard, um, but. Um, so now I feel like I'm at this point where, I, where it's something I got to do. Yeah. And I got to make that shit crack, so I'm going to make it crack. Yeah, you got to, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, let me tell you this story, man. You know, when I was uh, when, when I was a kid, man, I was going through a rough time. And uh, I had ran away from home. And and, wow. and and I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And and, and my home is in Detroit at the time. And so I made... Um, uh, I made my way to get a bus ticket, and, and I found a way to get on the bus at a very young age. I was like 14, 13, 14 years old, and I was going across the country by myself, running away from home back to Detroit. That's crazy. And the only thing I had was this corduroy Raiders hat. I had a Sony Walkman with a DOC No One Can Do a Better cassette. Wow. And I had on a black trench coat because that's what I had seen you wear in one of the your photo shoots or your in your in, in your video. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. And so that was my that was my attire. You know what I'm saying? And I listened to that C D front to back. I mean I mean I listened to that that cassette tape because that's what what I had at the time. And I listened to that back to back to back to back for about a week until it took me to get there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So not only did I know each and every lyric that was on the cassette, but I identified with what you were saying. And it was one of the first things that taught me how to articulate and be very clear in my rhyme. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. taught me that. Yeah, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Yo, 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 it, 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 it probably never even crossed your mind that people would listen to you that intensely. You know what I'm saying? But I knew how many cuss words you had on that album. You know what I'm saying? That's how <laughs> long I listened to that record. You know what I'm saying? There weren't many. Oh, man. Yeah, well, DOC, man, we you got so much history in the game, and uh, this is something that I think a lot of people have always been interested about, which is, uh, you know, when Dre <laughs> left Ruthless, you also left and went to Death Row, and then you've worked with them extensively after he left. So what what do you think has enabled you guys to work so well together for so long in so many different situations? Well, Dre is gonna be able to make anybody great. It's in his nature, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But when you mix good dope with good dope, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be great dope. And that's really no matter who you are, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Dre is one of the greatest of all times, man. So. If you put anybody that's halfway decent, he's going to be able to pull something from that guy, which is really how I went from here to here so quick, you well, know. Well, that's the other thing, because, uh, you know, for those that know with the NWA and the Posse record, you had the, the Feel of Fresh crew on there, but and you had several songs on that album, but then also, you know, the behind-the-scenes work that you did on Easy Does It by Easy e and NWA right. Straight Out Compton, yeah. and then moving into Death Row, and then afterwards... How have you seen, like, how do you mark your own growth as a writer during these mm. different during these different periods? Because you, you know, we had talked about in one of the earlier segments. You didn't even when you rapped yourself, uh, you didn't even use a lot of profanity, but a lot of the people that you wrote for or wrote with do, do and and did. So you've done so many different different things. I think that 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 growth may have been stunned. It just just a little bit only because I wasn't doing it for me. I was doing it for him. Mm -hmm. So it it couldn't be like me. It had to be like him. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Otherwise, um, it wouldn't work. So yeah. I, I gave up on mine and started really focusing on ours. Right, right. And so it wasn't about my growth, really. It was about, about Dre's and Snoopy's growth as artists. How the fuck was the open smoke tour, bro? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Yo, wow. how fun was the Up and Smoke tour, DOC? It, it was great, bro. Come on, man. People it don't understand great. that, G. Oh, my God. It was something special. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, there was a time. <laughs> there was a time, like, halfway through the tour where we said, okay, because we on our rider, we had a certain amount of Hennessy bottles. Right. So we said, yo, you know what? We're just going to save all the bottles that we finish in the night and see if we can finish them all through the tour. About six nights later, the whole bottom floor of my little bedroom was full with bottles, and it was like a health hazard. Yikes. It was dangerous, man. Oh, it was dope, man. That was the yeah. best time of my life. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, to to be able to come and and work with you, and not only become you know what I'm saying part of the team that you're on, but to to be viewed as a peer, bro. It's like you don't understand. You know what I'm saying? The 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 momentum that you have given to my sales. And you, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's a pleasure to be sitting here in front of you, man. October 10th, How the West Was Won, DOC. Yeah, man. Don't miss it. You I'll know what I'm saying? There. I'll be Tearing down. it down, man. It's going to get mad. What? And y'all better give it up. Don't be, don't be, feel, don't be holding up your iPhones the whole damn f- fucking show and not and give it up. You know what I'm saying? And put your phone down and put your hands up. You know what I'm saying? Give nah, it up nah, to this can, man. They can put their phones up and put their hands up. Yeah, okay. Nah. Well, they can't do the, you know, we're talking about 2015. These kids can't multitask. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. This is something that I always thought was intriguing about your career, DOC, because uh, after Cube left the group and uh, you guys were working on the Niggas for Life album. Hey, know, hey, hey, hey. That's the name of the album, yeah, man. It's, it's Zegans for Legan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, part. well, you, you can't <laughs> say niggas. You don't have to pass yet. Okay. <laughs> That, that, that did feel a little funny to me. <laughs> My bad. Woo! My bad. That, that, that kind of made me. <laughs> Who named the album, DLC? <laughs> it oh, it ain't Niggas for Life. <laughs> it ain't that. It? It's backwards. I think it was Drake. Drake. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so as you worked on the second studio album from NWA that okay. was released in 1991 yes. on Rufus Records. My question is yes. this. Awkward. With Cube leaving, <laughs> with Cube leaving, uh, obviously there was a shift in the writing of the album and yeah. the direction of the song. Yeah. So with that, so with that, I wanted to know, DLC, how did you, how did you find yourself approaching that album differently as a writer? You know what, bro? I, that that was uh, right after that accident. Hmm. So I was, man. Let me tell you something, bro. Uh, it was 1989. I think the date was November 11. It was four o'clock in the morning, mm. and I was on the 101. And everything changed after that day. Right. Like I haven't. I can't. It's not the same as it was before that. So mm. I can't judge growth. You know what I mean? Like I just do it because that's what I do. Mm. I love doing it, and. uh like I've always been better at helping people do it any damn way. Hmm. So maybe that's what it was, you know, meant for. So, you know, I, I enjoyed it. Uh like uh Snoopy means the world to me, you know what I mean? Because he is me. So wow. his win is my win. Right. You know what right. I mean? Like when he be on on stage with them big ass goddamn microphones and shit, them big ass rings <laughs> on and shit. That's me. You know what I mean? I'm having fun too, yo. Know? Yeah. And so if if I'm ever there, then he'll call me out, and you know it's all good. Wow. Like it wasn't meant for me to do that. No, no, it is. It is meant for you to do that. It is, bro. It is. It wasn't meant for me to do that like that. No, it is meant for you to do that like that because it goes back to the point where I said, niggas understand, bro. We get it. Okay. We understand that. Social media has told the story and told your story. It's a major motion picture. <laughs> right. It ain't like niggas don't know. So uh, now, now that we got that over with, let's see you. All right. That's I hear, it. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> man, this nigga about to get me tearing up in here, man. You better yeah. cut that shit out, man. I just want to see you, G. Duh, bro, I man, get it. Fuck that. I get it. I yeah, get it. But man. look, but look. From my perspective, mm. you know, if if it was something that was comfortable for me, I'd have been and did it already. Mm. You know, it, it must be tough. You know what I mean? And, and it's a, uh, it, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what is that? They call that a, uh, it's a hurdle I gotta, 
I got a good, if I can get over this that. obstacle you got to cross. Yeah, yeah. Because I've, <laughs> I've been leaning on Dre so tough for so long. <laughs> well, here's, here's what I say. And this is from a fan perspective. Okay. We spend so much time looking at people and looking at things that are negative against us. But if we just took a time to kind of look around us and see the people who do fuck with us, it outnumbers the things that don't fuck with us. I get that. You know what I'm saying? I respect And not to sound like no Tony Robbins ass, inspirational ass <laughs> nigga, but that's where it's at. I you respect know what I'm saying? That. Like, no, I respect and, and from a fan perspective, when I say I understand, I don't give a fuck about that. I want to see you. I want to see the light in your eyes. I want to see you with a mic. I want to see you move across the stage. I want to see what it feel like to see the DOC perform. Yeah, I dig it. I want to see what the movement look like. I want to I see what it. the. I want to see what the mic and the stance and the. You know what I'm saying? I want to see. I want to see. I want to see the drop. I want to see the pause. I want to see the eye contact with the crowd. I want to see the. I don't. I don't get. Look, we get it. I, it's I, it's, gonna gonna be it's understood. Bro. It's, it's understood. gonna be fucking interesting. It's you know understood. I mean? like, it's understood. That energy right there, if, if I can pull that out at that moment, it's going to be really No, you, you just got to trust that it's there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it is. Because it didn't go nowhere. You know, the Nigga, I out. know. It's I want to see it. <laughs> Nigga, I want to see it. Nigga, they, you better have security because I'm coming out there. <laughs> Nigga, I Nigga, I'm jumping That's out there, homie. The show. Nigga, I'm bum rushing the show. Yo, it, it's going down, man. This brother has given us so much music, given us so much of himself, given us so much heart. It's a pleasure <laughs> for me to, to to be here interviewing you, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, I'm just wrapped up in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling really good about what we just did. Bro, and, the world, and the world needs to know people around the world that are listening, that love you, are tuning in right now. And if you have to say something to the world, you're like, what would you want to tell them right now? Uh, I, uh, shit. World peace, goddamn. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, yeah, that's, that, and that's he just it. named one of the Los Angeles Lakers Meta <laughs> World Peace. <laughs> that is his message to the world, DOC, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and this Mr. X to the C exhibit. Hey, how did they get in touch with you, Doc? Shit. What they looking for me for? <laughs> Like social media or anything? You social want, media. You know, yeah, you can, social media. I mean, I'm, I be on Twitter all the time. You know okay, what I mean? Like, um, I fuck with those people because they really, like, I fuck with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and they appreciate that shit. What's, yeah. your, what's your Twitter address? West Coast Doc. There, there you is. go. Yeah, yeah, that's me. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how to get in touch with us? Man, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Open Bar Radio and on Facebook.com slash Open Bar Radio. Yeah, man, it's the DOC right here on Open Bar Radio. Come in next week, man. We got, uh, who we got next week? Oh, we got, yo, we got Lil Easy coming up, man. What? Oh, yeah, okay, and uh, I'll be out of town, so Sling Johnson will be tearing it down for y'all with Lil Easy e man. That's it's my going guy, down. Man. That's my guy. Lil Eric Wright, man. Yeah. It's going down, man. NWA Family Tree in this bitch. Yes, sir. Open Bar Radio, 93.5 K-Day.